Hey. Hey. What, 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 what? Your vision 2022. I got a new video. I got a new video. Alicia Michelle. I'm ready to go. Your vision fam. Are you ready for the show? <laughs> Hello, Eurovision fam. It's Alicia Michelle. Today is a very exciting day. I am going to be reacting to Dora. That is Croatia's national selection. And we are doing this reaction like we have done a lot of the national finals um, uh, reactions, which is live because honestly y'all know so much about what is going on you can help to inform me you can tell me yes this song is like a front runner you can tell me like this song nope it's probably not gonna win even if i really really like it so i find that it is so helpful to do this and honestly i love connecting with you all and if you are watching this on the replay you know what you could have been here you could have been here if you were subscribed to my channel. So this is the moment that I would say, yes, definitely subscribe. If you love the Eurovision Song Contest, you want to have these conversations and everything, you got to come over here and you got to subscribe because my channel isn't like a channel where it's like, oh, we always agree. Oh, I always love everything that she says. It's a conversation. You can disagree with me and it's totally, totally, totally fine. So this is the moment to subscribe and yeah, I'm excited. It's been a while. Um, you know, I feel like last year in particular, I really didn't want to follow most of the national selections because I was like, I just want to be happy for the winner. Um, so yeah, so I'm excited to see what Croatia is serving this year because Croatia did not make it to the final last year. You know, I, I kind of had a feeling that that was possible but by the time we saw the performance, I was like, oh, no, like there's there's no way that this is getting through. Um, and I think when we look at the numbers, Norway was the one that sort of sneaked in by one point. Norway made their way into the final. But had it not been um, for Norway, Croatia probably would have been in the final. So I'm really curious to see what uh, what is going to be served. Yeah. So let me hop into some of these uh, comments. OK. So Adam, Dora's last year's songs were better than this year's. Uh-oh. Okay, like we'll see, we'll see. We'll see um what we got. All the songs are better than some already elected for Eurovision. Okay, that's good. That's good. I'm 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 curious about this. Okay, and then um okay. Okay. Ah, what else we got? What else we got? Um yes, all right. Albina was robbed. Yeah. Yeah. By Norway. <laughs> By Norway. Okay. That, that's, that's what we're saying. Norway snuck in. Um, okay. So let's just let's just go on and hop into this reaction without further ado. I'm gonna be reacting to one of my favorite Eurovision channels. All right, and we we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So there we go. Ah. Got it. I'm doing, I'm rocking my dual screens. Dual screens. We're doing this. We're doing it. It's going to happen. All right. Okay. Um, pressing. Okay. I'm going to have to. Yeah, here we go. Oh, it's doing screen two. Hold on. No, I just want to. I just want to share the window. <laughs> technical difficulties, technical difficulties. This is the thing. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. All right. And then, yeah, I gotta. Okay, yeah, here we go. Okay. I might like scoot over. Actually. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Let's get into this reaction. Pressing play. Hey. Hmm. This is probably a no for me, but y'all know how I feel about message songs. This sounds like a message song. Oh, oh. oh. I think I like this. 
be something. The vocal's good. I like her styling. Oh, I like this. I like this. Okay, there was something there. This is cute. I think that there's a place for songs like this at Eurovision, but it is difficult because sometimes they could maybe be read as not competitive. Okay, I feel like this can be at the national selection. But if Croatia is trying to win, they shouldn't send it to Eurovision, but it could be a moment. Mm. I don't know about this one. I don't know. Oh. This, the thing is, this one sounds a little bit dated. This one sounds dated. That's the problem. Hmm. This isn't bad. This one is, this one isn't bad. I'm liking his styling. But I wish this, the sound of this looked as modern as his styling. Oh. Oh, there's a vocal with that one. And he's good looking. This one, that one might, might be okay. Mmm. I probably say no with that, but y'all know how I am about message songs. You really gotta make the package strong. This is cute. This one is cute. This one is cute. And she would just have to sell it on stage, but it's cute. Ooh. Oh, there might be something with this one. There might be something staging live that could do something. Hmm. The production on this one sounds dated. Like, like something from like the 90s, not in a good way. Um, okay. Huh. There were some good ones in there. I let me there were some good ones in there. I think um let's see. I liked um Mia with Forgive Me. If she sells that on stage, that could be cute. That could be really cute. I, I think I think that's something. Um what else we had? Marco. I really liked that. I really liked that. It felt modern. The visual we had for him was something that I, I kind of am, am like, the visual for him, I was like, there's something promising there. I, I could be really interested to see what what that is like live. Um, just a song, it's not bad. It's definitely current. It's definitely something fresh and young. But I do think songs like that have to be staged really, really thoughtfully. Like it just takes a lot of work because you got to figure out how to make it memorable on stage. Like songs like that sonically, I think are good, but I can see how they could run the risk of becoming forgettable on the Eurovision stage. So, so I would be, I, I would, I would, I would pause for that one. Um, what else we got? Hideout. Someone said something I think about that one bernarda hits a whistle note in here for love okay okay we'll we'll come we'll come back to that because yeah we haven't talked about that hideout i think that that song just felt a little too safe for me 
and definitely too safe for Croatia. I think Croatia should send something like I think Croatia has to think about being modern, has to think about standing out a little bit. Um, and I think if we look at recent history for Croatia at Eurovision, really the songs that have been risky, and I mean, I've not liked that, like, uh, what was it? My friend. The vocal was good in my friend, but the song was just too, I was not into the dual voice. And y'all know I love classical contemporary music, but it was too Disney for me, but it was risky. And, and it was enough to stand out on the stage and make it through, um, I believe. And then the vocal was good. And the vocal was good. Hideout just feels, there's a safety with that one that I'm like, mm, I don't know about that. This Malo, Malo, um, uh, Rocco, Visakovic, I don't know, I don't know. Ah. Um, Marco, I th let me see, hold on, let me play this real quick because I don't remember it, which is not a good sign. The thing is, he's really good looking. Um, he is very good looking, and that might help him out. People love people love uh, beautiful people. Um, oh, Bernarda here for love. Oh, I liked this one. I like this one. I like this one. This one could do some. I think I think Bernarda here for love could do some things. I'd be curious to see it live. The thing about it that gives me pause is it does seem to be having a little bit of that, like, like it's upbeat. So we would have to be really careful of how it's staged. You can't just have her, you know, standing on the stage with, you know, with a microphone sort of stationary. We got to figure out how we can have that groove come alive. But I, but I like that. I, I think that there's definitely something there. Um, with Bernarda, that that I was feeling. Um, Eric Vitovich, I found you. I liked the way that he looked and was styled, but the song wasn't sounding super modern. That's I think the piece that gives me pause is just the set the it just the song sounded a little bit dated, and I wish he had something that seemed to fit more. Let me I, I can jog my memory. Let me just make sure. Yeah, yeah, mm-mm, mm-mm, um, yeah, uh, with, um, a Toma, I think I like, In the Darkness, I think I like Toma. I like, I will say, I do think that that song could be seen as safe for Croatia, but I talked about this in some other videos this season, which is like, I do think that there is an expectancy um, to hear some of those like Balkan ballads and whatnot. And, and if no one else is really, really doing it, I think when people then hear it, it just feels like, oh yes, like this is what we come to Eurovision for, like something like that. And so there's something sonically about that song that I think harkens back to that. And he looks good looking. So, you know, he could really sell it. On the stage, um, what is that? Thomas song is only referring good. I don't know what that means. I don't. I don't know what that means. Um, but uh, but you said in the darkness is cool. I, I think there's something about in the darkness that I think is good. And and what I'm getting from the visual that he has, you know, he might be styled well and look good on stage. So, um, yeah. Oh, someone says. Bernarda is blind. Oh, wow. Well, and you know how we like our stories. Um, someone said, as a blind person, Bernarda will for sure not have wild choreography. Well, she doesn't need choreography. That's not what I'm saying by the way of bringing it alive on stage. Bringing something alive on stage doesn't just mean like choreography and movement, but it is a song that's challenging where we have to figure out how to make it like sort of like a party and upbeat on stage. We got to figure out how to do that. Um, I'll think of some things. <laughs> I'll think of some things. Okay, what else we got? Um, yeah, I wasn't feeling the No War song. Oh, Ella, if you walk away, if she sells that on stage, that could be cute. That could be cute. I, I will say I might worry about it 
in the semi, I might worry about how it will ultimately finish because I do think we have some direct competition already in the mix with this genre, with what Ella is serving. But I'm liking her vocal tone. There feels like there's a richness to it, to where it isn't just like pop girly. There's a richness to that vocal. I I, I feel I feel like that could be something. And then um, I liked Tia. With the visual, I was feeling like I could be getting something ethereal, something interesting. So I think Tia could, Tia could do something. Um, Tia could do something, I think. Okay. Um, and then with Mia, yeah, Mia, that, that one was sounding a little bit dated. Okay, we've got some time. So I'd like to hop into some full uh, full song. So I'm going to look, I think Marco is crying out to me. Like Marco, I'm kind of feeling like I might want to, I might want to hop into that in its entirety. Um, Bernarda, Bernarda, I might want to hop into that. I might not need to listen to a lot of, if I'm being honest, I might not have to listen to a lot of, of Bernarda because I, I felt like with what I was hearing, it was good. <laughs> I was, I was feeling that. So I, you know, um, yeah. So what are y'all talking about? And then someone says something about Tia. Oh yeah, let's do that. So let's do, let's do Marco first. Here we go. Oh, well, we're already starting off good. Yeah, this, this intro is already good. Ooh. Okay. Y'all, y'all, hold on. This is already good. This is already good. I'm a fast forward, okay? I'm a fast forward because this is already good. <laughs> yeah, and I'm liking his visual. Ooh. I'm already like it. I fast forward into a part and I like it. Oh, this is good. Oh, I really like this. Ooh, I really like this. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, this is it. Ooh. Y'all. This is good. I don't need I don't need I don't need to listen to anything else. You know, and now actually, now I'm getting nervous. See, this is why I don't want to get into these national selections. This is very, very good. Someone says, okay, Tia and Marco have the same songwriters. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Y'all, I don't need to listen to any more of this because this is going to mess me up. Because if it doesn't win, I already feel this way now. But I like Tia. So it's interesting. So even off the snippets, I like both of them. Okay, someone says, Mario says, oh, he's the favorite to win. Okay, so then maybe I won't be pissed. Okay, okay. Gospel says, uh, Marco's song has strong verses, but the chorus is very underwhelming and the song feels hot. I don't agree. I don't agree. I'm But you have to realize, I don't need to listen to the full song. This is already like stuff I like. It doesn't take me a lot to figure out like, this is already dancing in, in what I like. So let's... Let's hop into Tia next. So let's do, wait, we had it here. Let's hop into Tia next. I like this. Yeah, I like, I like this. I like this. This is good. Feels, feels current. Native language. Hey. Oh, I like this. I like this. Mm. Oh, yeah, I really like this. Hold on real quick. I'm going to fast forward. Hey. I'm feeling this. 
this one I could see though. It, it like yeah, it, it could be deemed repetitive maybe. See, I just fast forward to another thing. Okay. Thank you, Vera. I mean, I'm feeling this. This is very like stuff that I would just like to listen to. But this is we're gonna need. Oh, but I like this. Oh. I like this. I like this a lot. I really do. I like Marco too. I'm gonna have to download them. I'm gonna have to download them. I, I wanna I wanna listen to. I, I definitely want to. Oh yeah. Okay, hold on. Let's go to um let's do let's do Bernarda first. We're gonna do Bernarda. I don't think I have to listen to a lot of it, a lot of this though, to be honest. Oh, hold on. I'm going to stop y'all. This is a message song. Here's my thing with message songs. They got to be good. I was already liking it. So I'm just saying they got to be good. But do in May, are we going to be here for a message song? That's the question. Because arguably last year, like we weren't. So I, so maybe is this the year where we are ready for it? I like her vocal. Yeah. Oh yeah, this vocal is good. Okay. Ooh. Sorry, hold on, wait, 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 whoa. I'm getting a little, ooh, yeah. I'm, I'm feeling this. Real love. Yeah, she's giving me, she's giving me that 90s house feel in the, in the vocal that I love, that I love. Okay, I, I, I. The only thing I will say that I will have to like, like kind of, the lyrics are like sort of messagey trite, you know, but you gotta sell sell it, you know what I mean? And I'm feeling, I'm feeling it. I'm, oh, I, I'm, I, I'm. We'll see how it goes live. We'll see how it goes live. But I'm, I'm actually feeling that. Okay, and then someone said Mia. Okay, we gotta do Mia. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Do we have to do Mia? I wasn't really feeling that. I wasn't feeling that. I wasn't feeling that. Mia, hold on, wait. Mia is the biggest favorite to win besides Marco. Oh, no. Wait, I don't think I was feeling that. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we get. Okay, guilty pleasure. Okay. Five nights in a row of dreams I've never shared. Okay. You come without a warning early in the morning. Oh, okay. I'm not I'm not hating this. Oh, it's not this Mia. Oh, not this Mia. Okay, okay. Okay. Good, because I was about to say I don't know if that would qualify. So wait, you're saying let me see. Oh. Wait, where's the other one? Oh, forgive me. Oh, yeah. Okay, I liked her. Okay. I don't hate this. Mm. Okay, okay. I don't know. This is okay. Mm. I don't 
don't know. I don't know about this. I don't know about this. I don't know about this. I'll tell you why. One, this isn't really my um, my personal taste of what I'd want to listen to in my car. This reminds me of stuff that's like kind of musical theater a little, like a little bit, a little bit. And um, although I grew up doing musical theater, I'm just not really into it now. Um, it just... The lyrics didn't feel trite, which is a good thing. The lyrics did not feel trite. So I'm 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 feeling that I do think live maybe it could take on another life. And I do think stuff like this at Eurovision can do well. So I wouldn't necessarily say don't send this to Eurovision. I wouldn't necessarily say that. Um, but the thing is, these can tend to do well, but recently they haven't been winning. So that's the question you have to ask. Like, does Croatia want to win? Marco was giving me something that was there. I think Marco was giving me something where I'm like, that could do some damage. Um, but this one live might not be wrong. Like, it's just not my personal taste of what I would listen to in the car. I wouldn't have this on a playlist. But I, but I don't think that I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, I, that's what I'm thinking. All right, well, I got to bring this uh, stream to a close. And I just want to say thank y'all so much. This was actually really helpful for me. And some of y'all were worried. I think some of, some of y'all were, were worried that maybe I wouldn't like, I actually think there are some gems. <laughs> In this, there are some songs that need to be on my playlist, like that I will definitely be listening to. So I, I think that there's, I think that there is some good here. What do you think? Drop down and talk to me in the comments below. Do you agree with my comments? Talk to me in the comments below. Do you disagree? That is okay too. Talk to me in the comments below. This is a conversation and you know it. I am so excited for Eurovision 2022. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on TikTok. Follow me on Twitter, even though I'm going to be putting some of my TikTok videos on YouTube because now they have shorts. They have shorts. So I'll be putting some of my shorts here on YouTube so you can hop in those so you can have a little, a little like piece of me. You know, you might not like me in, in, in a full 30 minute video, but you might like me in 15 seconds. You know, 15 seconds might be what you can handle. I actually think that there was a lot here in Dora. I, I like, I, I am really curious to see how how they pick i i think i there are some things in there that could do some damage that could i think qualify um so let's see let's see all right well thank you all so much for watching bye join me later today i'm going to be reacting to poland's national selection i'm going to be doing that today too so bye <laughs>